I'll uh, complete my video of the build uh, hopefully next week. But we're going Thursday night of this week. It's supposed to be really good weather. We got a state park not too far from us. Kind of got to go, ugh, gonna kind of get a trial run um, on her. So, all right, guys. What's up, guys? Wes here. I'm in the middle of packing up. This video is going to be the final of the uh, rooftop tent build. Just hang on. It's probably going to be a long one, uh, but I'm going to fold it out once we get to our tent site and walk you through. And I'm going to give you a, in the morning, I'm going to give you a, uh, what I thought of what uh, I built and describe in detail why I chose to build it the way I did. Um, so here we go. I just want to update a little. So um, Smitty built uh, SRC rack. I bought a used one and apparently um, the older models had thinner bars. And I was a little concerned. These bars were actually bending uh, slightly. They were flexing like, pretty heavy. Um, so I ordered some more just to add more bars uh, to alleviate it. But man, the new ones are beefy and they do not bend at all. So if you buy an old used rack, uh, like I did, uh, just uh, order some new, they're, they're like 17 bucks a piece and they come with the hardware. If I'd known that, I would have just ordered them again with. So. Uh, but I did go ahead and I put the two, I ordered two new ones, one here, one there. Um, and because they were so beefy, I used those for the main supports for the tent. I uh, just put this one in the middle to space them out evenly. And then um, I added the last two on the rear so I could uh, strap a box or something too. So um, yeah, so just a quick uh, update on that. And this is the beginning of uh, our trip where I'm going to kind of review it. I will say this about my cover. Sorry for the sun. It's in my eyes. Probably blasting the camera. Um, as far as the cover goes, I may have gotten a little too tight. Um, we'll see. You can see the seam hangs over the end. It, there's no leaks. Um, I've left it on here for a few days. It hasn't rained, but um, it definitely uh, keeps the water off the tent. I did put the zipper uh, underneath and you can see uh, how I mounted. I did, however, because it was bending, um, I did add that third support in the middle. I decided to keep it. So, I mean, five's better than four, right? So it is, it's pretty solid. Um, I'll catch some wind noise driving. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, there's another one. Let me... Awesome. Awesome. We're just riding down the trail and the deer then out across. Say hey Mandy. <laughs>
Just woke up. See the, I don't know if you can see the condensation. You know, it's on everything though. It's dripping. Um, I see why people say do the firm foundation and then put like uh, a one inch memory foam on top of that. Uh, I wish I'd went with two inch with an inch of memory foam, but it is what it is at the moment. Oh, I didn't like coffee. I'm glad. <laughs> Last night we were trying to get situated I'd forgotten something had to climb out and I guess was a little too trusting and the ladder slipped out on that mat so I had to take it off the mat which the dew had been falling already so it was kind of slippery but it had been on it since before the dew had fell I really didn't think it was gonna do that I figured it would bite but it didn't uh, it didn't rain but I'm, and I'm glad it didn't uh, but it definitely I'm not sure if this condensation actually was just coming through the tent because I have treated this thing heavily with the waterproofer or uh, if it was just sweating inside. I'm really not sure. Uh, I guess it could be either one, either or. Uh, but it definitely was doing it. So um, absolute necessity of a some sort of rain fly cover to separate the inner tent to the to the elements so that's gonna happen um well guys it's um woke up from first night of trying out the tent um it was a wet one last night the dew was just extremely heavy um and it didn't hurt our help that we're under this massive tree either um so, a couple of things that I've learned. Uh, one, we're in a park that has, I mean, there's, I don't know, you can't see it, but there's a squirrel right back over here running through. Um, all night long, they were um, climbing in the tree and shaking things out. And th just things would hit the top of the tent all night long. So. Um, if we come back here, we will be picking a site that is not um, covered with a tree. Uh, I kind of thought it was a good thing. I was like, well, it blocks the sun. But yeah, let's not do that again. Um, as far as the tent, tent did great. Uh, it was cold. Um, it was really cold. Uh, it was colder than what I expected it to be, I guess. But we had some last minute changes. I brought a heater to keep us warm. But my daughter ended up coming with us at the last minute and she is in a ground tent so we just sacrificed and gave it to her we needed that in our tent last night it was cold i actually ended up um if you guys remember the straps over the top i've already taken it down right to show you but the straps over the top so i took a a, a moving blanket uh from like u-haul moving products um but it was just a gray almost like a felt feeling type blanket I had it for uh, just backup purposes. Um, so I put it on the top side above the straps and above the, the rails. So it just, you know, covered the roof. Plus the um, the moon, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a really faint sleeper. The moon was like right there coming up and down and it was bright last night and it was blasting through and I couldn't sleep for anything. Um, <clears throat> the ladder, the ladder slipped on me last night. Um, I keep looking over here. Sorry. <laughs> the ladder slipped on me last night. Uh, it was on top of the mat, which I really didn't think was a big deal, probably because of the angle that I've got it in. I could, there's something about this spot. Um, uh, I think I'm going to, um, I had originally elevated my rack because of the way the mountain system had to be. Uh, and you can probably see that right there, the space here. So you can elevate these. I'm probably going to take that out, drop that back down because the ladder, sorry, the ladder is at uh, that angle on perfectly level surface. Um, I didn't really pay attention to that at home. 
because uh, most of the time my Jeep was sitting on my, my garage ramp. But it did good. The Lux foam, right? Let's talk about that. It's firm. I am a heavy guy. I'm a really heavy guy, all right? I'm a, I've lost a lot of weight. I don't know if you guys, from the time I started the videos till now, just looking at my face, I've lost uh, like 25, almost 30 pounds, and it's noticeable. Um, but the Lux foam is a little too firm. Um, could have been just because we were cold. I'm not quite sure, but uh, I don't know. But it was firm. Uh, there was a couple of times laying on my side last night that my hips began to hurt. Um, I'm used to uh, I'm used to it being softer. So first off, so I, I did the zipper on the rear, and uh, so I could leave it connected, and it just tucks neatly underneath here. I mean, got my light up there too. Um, you see my bars here, buckles all around. Uh, one thing that I realized is that I put a buckle right here in the middle for the cover when I put it on. I can't reach it to put it back on, I don't believe, until I buckle it back. So think about that uh, when you're designing those things. I'll probably remove that one um, and just stick with what I have. Uh, my, the rest of them should be fine. Um, it is kind of a pain, the windows like they are, but uh, I'm going to let it ride. Definitely need a rain fly for this. Uh, I did, uh, one of the guys staying right here next to me, he said the last two days have been like this, just totally humid and uh, just nasty in the mornings. Um, just letting things dry out right now. I had actually brought a heater. I think I've already said this, but um, my daughter was staying in that tent right here. But just because of the humidity and the moisture on the walls, I just didn't want to take any chances while I was enjoying the fire. Uh, I put the heater and I actually have some fans. So, uh, yeah, wind blowing. So. But all in all, it did good, it slept good. I feel like the, um, yeah, you can see the, you can see the moisture beating up. Uh, I don't know if it was sweating inside or, or if that water was actually coming through the fabric. I don't know. I did a, I did a heavy uh, waterproof treatment. Um, but anyway, so, um, these things worked well. Um, uh, worked really well. You can see my binding that I put on it. That's just some uh, some corner corner guard that you would put over uh, or maybe under sheetrock. I don't know. I'm not really sure how it's used, but it came in like six foot uh, pieces or eight foot pieces, something like that. Um, you see my brackets for the for the bars. Obviously, it's camping. You got stuff hanging everywhere. I think the ladder worked out really well um yeah it, it slipped on this mat last night so i just put it under the mat that's the first step anyway so um yeah <laughs> i don't know what else to say it worked um you've watched me build it if you've watched all the videos if not um go back and check those out um it was easy to um open and set up and i'm hoping it will be since i've done it at the house but i'm hoping without a ladder it's going to be pretty easy to fold back up and cover i will time lapse video that i'm not going to spare you the or i'm going to spare you the drawn out time um for that as well i don't know what else to say um some people oh i do so my entire idea for those of you, just, you know, I'm just talking this build, right? Let me blow it out here. Okay. So, I built this for that. I've also got a trailer. It's fairly small for kayaks. Um, that I was thinking possibly in the future that I would mount this to as well. But, um, if you've watched my videos, I mean, I'm a heavy guy. I think I was mentioning that earlier. Uh, never got to my point 
I could mount it off the side and I think it would do fine. I really, really do think it would do fine. Um, but there's always a chance if I'm camping by myself and that ladder falls and this thing by some chance breaks that plywood and I come tumbling to the ground, um, it's going to be awful. <laughs> so that's what I'm, that's what I fear. Um, the ladder slipped on me last night. So I don't know if there's something I can do to add a little more grip, but it slipped on this. Once I put it on the concrete and it didn't slip at all. So I'm assuming that all is well there, that it, it just, that's just the way it is. Um, so comment below if you've had anything like that happen. Um, I ended up buying the Plano box. When this is folded up, the Plano box goes on the, uh, the back side and fits really well. I know it looks funny. I think I showed the bars before I came, but uh, I had this thing spaced out. This one was here. But then when I got the Plano box, it had a place to fit on some bars that were this spaced apart. I don't remember the measurement, but I'll try to share that later. Maybe I'll put it on the uh, in a text there. But um, the the box bottom is kind of made for two bars to run and kind of hold it in place. So I literally just set it on there, ran a, ran a strap from here to the other side, and it worked great. Uh, my wife followed me in the truck. It, like like I said, this is a trial run just to learn. Uh, my wife followed me in the truck, said it went well. It didn't look like it was even budging at all. It wasn't moving around. Wind wasn't affecting it. Um, now, I will say already, I noticed driving over, it's a lot of wind drag. I mean, this is basically a box driving on the road anyway. This adds a lot of wind drag. Uh, I do think it does help that it's uh, radiused on the front. So, I don't think... Um, I think I'll stick with this design. I was actually thinking about building a different one later, uh, but I really do think that I'm going to stick with this when I build, um, when I make a new tent to fit on top. Um, I just wanted to get this made and see if I like it. I do believe my wife enjoyed it enough for me to uh, continue the, the project, uh, but I don't necessarily like the way this is made. So, I do at least, I want a rain fly to cover and then come over the door. Definitely needed that over the door last night, badly. So, all right, more to come. Other than that, I mean, it slept good. It's perfect length. It's uh, 88 inches long, even though it's got radius cuts on it. For me and my wife, it was plenty of room. Um, other than the fact we were freezing to death. I had a heater. Um, but I give it to my daughter because it got colder than we had anticipated uh, last night. So yeah, you can see right there the dark color. That's the uh, sleeping bag up against it on the inside. So that means the sleeping bag is soaking up some of that water. I need to get that out of there. Um, all in all, did really good. Uh, I am still impressed. The cover, I'm scared it's going to be a little pain putting him back on, but I'm in, I can assume that any rooftop tent is going to be that kind of pain. So we'll see. Um, yeah, I don't know of any updates to tell you.
right, guys. So that wraps us up. Um, driving out of Brazos Bend State Park. It's been a cool trip. Uh, cool uh, trial run of our tent. Um, we have enjoyed ourselves. Didn't sleep real well last night. The tent sweated a lot. I, the more I think about it, it was sweat from our breathing on the inside as well as dew falling on the outside. So I think it was just a combination of the two. Uh, I don't know how to alleviate that. So we gotta do some research. Uh, but all in all, very successful, very proud of the build. The wife loves the tent. She loves the idea of sleeping up off the ground. Uh, so, hey, that's a win, right? Um, one last thing as I'm driving out I'm going to try to give you an idea of what the noise level was like so I'm only going 23 miles an hour right now I'm driving out of the park the speed limit's 30 but I'm just kind of easing along so as we get out on the highway here in just a moment I'll let you hear what it sounds like. All right, grab it. All right, I'm gonna show you what it sounds like. Um, sorry, it's already getting kind of loud. Doing 40. I'm gonna show you the speedometer and let you hear how loud it gets. I'm gonna hold the phone the same distance from my voice. voice level which is pretty normal for driving the Jeep with my wife inside. 